god. Where are we going? The bloom, it's overtaken us. Did we start? Yep. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Rip. You gotta step into the light. You, you left Yorta behind. She can find her way. Oh, she did find her way. Oh. I didn't I didn't think she was going to. Don't find your don't lose your way. I'm Maybe proud of her. Messed that up at the beginning. Don't lose your way, John. What? Don't lose your way. I'm not familiar with the song. Don't lose your way. I don't know like any actual music. It's not a song. It's not from. Oh. That's from an anime. Oh. What what anime is that? It's the theme song to um, Kill a Kill. Oh. <laughs> Making that poor girl catch up with you. Yeah. Iko's just excited because we've we've activated both of the both of the reflector thingies. So like look at the door, it's all glowy. I think that means it's gonna open. Probably. I mean, I don't know. God, this camera is like miserable. That's because you're screwing around with it. No, I'm not. I'm just hitting the button to call her. Oh, because when you call her it goes and looks at her. Yeah, that's me hitting R1. Well, maybe you should stop hitting R1. <laughs> then she won't come. You only have to hit it once, and then she follows you. Does she? Yeah, or you can, like, take her by the hand. Well, it's not like she's going to go any faster because you're tapping it. You're like that guy on the elevator who keeps hitting the button. <laughs> Or who hits closed door, even though it doesn't do anything. I don't hit closed door, though. Oh my god. She's only using her right hand. She's never climbed a ladder before the events of this game. That's the only explanation. Maybe she has vertigo. Like that guy from the movie Vertigo. But you still climb, like, normally when you have that. You know what the best part is? You did not even need her to be up here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just sliced her in half. Just get... Can I whip her off, though? Like I did before? Can she, like, do a Princess Peach and just, like, gently float down instead of taking the ladder? No. She's a princess, right? She's embarrassed her looking up her dress. She'll deal. Come on. Look, I'm, I'm Yorda. <laughs> you can't be Yorda, you're using both arms. arms. Yeah. Every time you do that, your sword clips through your arm. So, like, you're just cutting your arm off every time. <laughs> yeah. That I am. That's just a clean amputation right there. Come on, let's go. Okay. Now we go across this bridge. Aren't you excited for freedom, Yorda? <laughs> I'm excited to stop being pulled by you. <laughs> it's everything you've ever dreamed of, probably. We actually haven't established your character that well. Okay, you just... So, some door is going to take you down. Yeah, head through that door. Go down the stairs. Wee, 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 wee. Oh. Oh, maybe not those stairs. Um, yeah, you gotta go back around to the bridge. Is that the way? Yep. Yeah, just go around this room. There's a way down on the other side. Um, hopefully shadow things won't attack us because they attacked us while we were in here the last time. Yeah, they can... They can... Meh. Don't oh. want to deal with them. I really feel like they're going to attack us here. No, they can wait. Ah, I guess they're gonna wait. Shadows can wait. Shadows die twice. Dark Shadow. One of my favorite characters in My Hero Academia. There's a guy who, for no apparent reason, is just like a bird. 
Like, everybody oh. has a superpower, but his Is power he a has bird nothing. person? He's a bird person. That that's what we called him until we did finally remember his name. Um, his name is uh, uh, Tokugami, I think. Oh. Um. He, he he has like shadow powers, but he also just happens to be a bird for like no reason, and he's just oh. like really edgy, but like weird. Kind of. Kind of in that like nobody takes him seriously for how edgy he is kind of way. Here we are. Yes, step into the light. Step into the glowing glow door. I goes like, I honestly didn't think it this far through. Oh, that's something. And Yorda was struck by lightning. The end. Credits roll. Or she's like magnetizing it open. Oh yeah. Do you know? Do you imagine like how like his hair would be like up, like oh, all yeah. over the place. Did that change the color of her hair? She's like more white now. Uh, can't tell. Wait, didn't she have brown hair? Yeah, or at least like like that gray hair. But now her hair is white. She's oh. ascending. The bridge is erecting. <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, now they're touching. <laughs> As consenting a bri consenting bridges do. Now make them kiss. Mm. I feel like structurally this bridge would not be sound. No, this is really this is a really bad design for a bridge. Especially because like they don't latch in the center. Yeah, they're just like sort of there. They, they should just like fall into the ocean. They just droop. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, let's go. Is she? Oh, she's like limping now. Yeah, she's not okay. Oh come on, get up. Let's go. Aw, she put her all into opening that door up. Go oh, easy I hope on the rest her. of the game is not like this. Oh no. I hope the rest of the game is like this and there's like 50 times more enemies. Do I have to just walk? Aw, that's nice of you. Uh... She doesn't even have shoes on. Yorda has sacrificed a lot for us, okay? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, maybe she's not allowed to leave. Oh, see? The bridge was not structurally sound. No, it's just, um... Oh, retracting. Yeah. Oh, we thought nothing would ever come between us. Oh, wow, you jumped for it. That would be a good place to have, like, multiple endings, like, whether or not you jump for her. Like, you could just leave without her. I just her. figured I was supposed to do that. It just seemed like the nice thing to do. Bro. That's a lot... She's a lot stronger than she looks. Yeah, wow, especially when she was getting all, like, sickly and stuff. Oh, no, it's that field of, like, turn to stone. Uh-oh. Oh, now it's turning her to stone! No fair! Well, she should be easier to grip. Even though she turned to stone, her hand went limp somehow. Well, maybe she decided to let go so that it wasn't just, like, holding onto his arm for all eternity. Oh, yeah. Or the only way he'd be able to get free would be to break her hand off. Yeah... So I get, well, at least now we don't have her, so it's like, should be easier. Yeah. This is... Oh, we saw these things before, though. They were in the background of the one area. Yeah. Um, that probably really hurt to land on that. Um, you probably would have died. I mean, he's smaller, so maybe not. Never know. Yeah. 
You know, if you threw a mice a mouse off like the Empire State Building or something, it would probably live. Definitely, if it was like a flea. Yeah, the smaller something is, the less yeah. damage, it, the less fall damage it takes in real life. Fleas can fall off anything because they're so small. I think mice are small enough too. It's about like. Well, because your force equals your uh, mass times acceleration. The other thing is so like your surface area. Big. Your surface area to mass ratio is like a lot closer when you're smaller. So when you're bigger, that ratio is like very far off. I also think. I, I think Iko has like slight supernatural abilities. Hmm. Like I think it comes with his horns. Really? I, yeah, I don't think he has quite the biology of a normal human. Normal human. He is superhuman. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> oh no, there's a gate in the way. What are we gonna? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well then, that was awkward. Awkward on the uh, the planners. I wonder if there is an ending if you just, like, let the bridge separate, like... You'd probably get a game over. Because, like, you already won your freedom, right? That was... It reminds me of in a... Have you ever played Cave Story? No. Um... Is that for Switch? It There is a version on the Switch, yeah. Ooh, is it's, it good? It's on PC, it's on... It's a, um... It's a really tough... Ooh. Metroidvania. Oh. Um... I don't think it's as refined as Hollow Knight because it like pays a lot more homage to like the eight bit era, but I think you'd like it. Really now? Yeah. Um and it has multiple endings depending on things that you do. Um I see. But one of the one of the things it's like it's like the dumbest ending because why would you do this? You know there's better endings. But you can end the game early because the one person is leaving the island and you can choose to escape from him instead of like fighting the evil and saving everybody else you can just like choose to leave because like what do you huh. care and then the game just ends right there so you probably just reload your last last save yeah. and then go beat the game but it's just kind of interesting that it gives you the option it's cave story right yeah i remember playing a game called the cave oh yeah somebody was telling me to play that it was eh it was like okay ish. I didn't finish it, I don't think. Not a Metroidvania, but. It. What kind of game is it? Um, like, an, it's like a side scrolling adventure, I think. Okay. So I pushed that down there, and I don't know what to do with it now. Um. Me neither, Kate. And I need to get to the other side, so somehow I have to get it over to the other side, the block. Can you, like, push it while swimming? I don't know. I'll try. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay. It's weird I'm somehow pulling it behind me. I don't know how that's possible, when both my hands are definitely in front of me. No, it looked like the one arm was trailing behind you. Did it? That, that's how I was interpreting it. It's super clumsy, but... Oh, yeah, but I'm not even touching it. That's for sure. It is weird. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. There we go. Cave Story does a thing, though, where, like, a lot of the best weapons in it you can very easily not get if you don't, like, do a very specific thing. Oh. What do you mean by a very specific thing? Or, like, okay, so there's the ending where you just up and leave, and then there's, like, the regular ending for beating the final boss, but then there's also a true ending with, like, a true final boss, and to get that, you have to have made a certain number of choices correctly. And the weirdest one is there's a part where you see one of the characters fall down a pit. Yeah. And you can jump down after him and he'll... He's an inventor and he gives you the jetpack he's been working, working on right before he dies. 
Okay. So that's how you get the jetpack. But if to get the true ending, you have to not go. One of the things you have to do is not go down the pit after him and just ignore him and continue. Because really? if you do that, somehow he shows up later, not having died, and gives you a better jetpack. And I what? don't understand how that works. That's kind of dumb. But that's one of the things you have to do, and you have to you have to save this one other character, which kind of means you have to know how to do it because. Um, at one point she drowns, but there there's a way to save her from drowning, but you don't have a lot of time to do it. Okay. So it's it, it's interesting. I see. Hmm. Am I jumping to one of these things now? Uh, maybe. Probably. I don't know. It do it doesn't look like you could clear it. Ah, jeez, I don't know, maybe. This is something... Well, that's the only way up. Yeah, so I think you need to jump to one of those, like, little fence post things. Like these? No, um... On the wheel, I mean. Oh, God. Oh, can you cut the... Probably not. I was gonna say, can you cut the cords? I don't have a thing. Oh, you lost it when you fell. It would seem so, yeah. Okay. I can't actually jump there at all. Okay, is there... I don't know, is there anything else we can climb? Not that I can tell. Hmm. Ooh. Well, don't worry. Water cannot hurt oh, you. Oh man, this is gonna be a... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I have no clue. Oh, you opened a gate when you made that thing move. Oh. Yeah, that was blocked off before, but now it's not. Is this too short? Yeah. And hopefully you don't need that block, because, like, you made it here. Oh, I see. Cool, yeah, now you can grab onto that. Whoa. Alright. Death perception. What's that? <laughs> Death perception. <laughs> that was really close to not working. Oh shush! No, it wasn't. We're good. I mean, what? What is the purpose of all of these gears and stuff down here? That does it's the castle have running water? It's the platform one. This is very weird, right here. I love how this thing isn't shaking at all as I climb on it. Oh yeah, no, that's solid. That that's some adamantium piping. Something like that, yeah. Not even like, I don't know. It's just something that's rigid as rigid AF. Yeah, like if this were uncharted, it would be like bending or warping while you went across it. Slash breaking, yeah. Yeah. Not that I want it to break. Or do you? No. You sure? No, I'm I'm about ready to get through this area. I was like kind of excited about having a non a no Yorda area, but it's complicated. And... I think this is a lot better than most of the Yorda areas, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're playing it, so I don't. I don't yeah, know this how to is deal. way better. Oh, do you have the Donkey Kong over there? Yeah, that's not that bad though. I don't think it is, at least. No, should be pretty easy. So I'm having awful flashbacks of trying to swing across things in Sly. I don't know what it, what, what it is, but anything that has swinging in it, I, like, can't do it in a 3D space. Really? I could do it in Donkey Kong games just fine. Hmm. I don't have that problem in 3D games as much. That was weird. Camera change, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this is not that bad. 
okay, yeah, it was just kind of that part where, like, what do we do, I guess, was making me kind of mm -hmm. worried, angst, anxious. I got this. Uh, there's a ladder up there, but it also looks like you can run across things. So, oh. I tried. That didn't seem to take us back too far. Oh, that's what the ladder's for. Oh. It's for if you fall. Even though there's two of them next to each other. For yeah. For some reason. I don't know why. It, it looks like the construction of this was kind of shoddy. The second jump's going to be a little tough. The camera's behaving a lot better now that there's no Yorda, too. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, but it's better. Not great at all, but it is definitely 100% better. Now, can I save on the bench about her? <laughs> oh, no, maybe not. Oh, then we're going to have to finish this tonight if we have no way to save it. There also should be no fighting, too, because I don't have to... I don't have, a, I don't have a weapon, and B, I can't... This is just like a running sequence. Yeah, maybe. Could just be like a chance to take in the environment. Ooh, I almost didn't jump there. I mean, I do, I do like the environmental design of this, like, <laughs> just as far as, like... <laughs> That was weird. Just as far as... Uh, just as far as, like, the shapes of the mountains and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now it's raining, so it should be impossible to climb things, if Breath of the Wild taught me anything. Um, that's not how it works, actually, I don't believe. Like, no, it's not as easy. Like, it, it's harder to keep your... It's harder to keep your footing, so, like, walking up things, like, walking up steep inclines is harder. Yeah. I don't know if, um... I don't know if, like, climbing, per se, though, is harder. I don't think so. No, I think it just would be easier to lose your grip on stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Particularly on stone. Because there'd be a lower coefficient of friction. Mm-hmm. And I just remember in Breath of the Wild, it would always start raining when I was, like, halfway up climbing something. Yeah. Oop. Oop. Here we go. And now oh. we're over the, uh, Great Pipe Canyon. Yeah. Oh, well, we're making our way back up. I feel like the game really wants us to be, like, really worried about Yorda now, because we've had this, like, big, long adventure with her, and now she's taken away, and we're supposed to feel, like, lonely like, and empty without her, sewers. but... Eh, I'm just enjoying uh, my time without her. I mean, it's cool that she, like, saved us towards the end, but... This game is way better without her. <laughs> just saying. Ooh, I like this... I like all that rust. Yeah. I bet you we're going to have to climb down this and then back up it. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Maybe not. Nope, the, uh... Maybe the climbing gods will be kind on us. I'm totally fine if not going quite reclimbing back up it. Oop. That's a, no, I have to, we have to go down. We're, we're gonna get Yorda and, and have to climb back up with Yorda. It's no! Gonna, it's gonna be great. No! <laughs> Yorda's gonna sprout those wings. Okay. Then she can carry me. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> Just, like, have the final boss of this game be suddenly, like, a 2D space shooter. <laughs> oh god, that'd be different. For sure. What is this? It's a thing. Oh. Oh, I see. You can pull that. So I am just trying to go down. Yeah. You're trying to go down at a reasonable speed. We're going down. What is that? Just me like speeding through it, or? I mean, I mean because you can jump off and go down very quickly. Oh, 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 oh you saw that, right? Oh. 
Okay, I have to go this way. I'm like barely on the end. Yeah, wow. You're on the tippy tip. Whoop. That's bullshit. Wow, I guess the game didn't want you to go that way. I have to do all of that again. Um, where does that take you back to? LOL. Okay, not that bad, I guess. There's checkpointing built in. That was dumb. That's... That's some malarkey. 